and I wanted to discuss the two different methods that we can use to treat endometriosis during endometriosis surgery. So ablation of endometriosis implants essentially is using electrosurgical energy to burn the lesion. And the theory is that by doing that, the endometriosis implants will be burned so that they are no longer active. But there are some downfalls to this. Number one, what a surgeon might have thought is an endometriosis implant might not have been. And when the specimen is burned and therefore destroyed, there's nothing for the pathologist to look at to confirm if endometriosis was present. Another important facet of surgery for endometriosis is that you have to remove the lesion completely so that it can't continue to wreak havoc and cause pain and inflammation on the inside of the body. When you burn the lesion, it's very difficult for the surgeon to tell the difference between what is burned tissue and what is endometriosis tissue. Contrasting that with excision, you have the ability to remove the disease entirely and see when you have reached normally behaving tissue. Also, ablation or the burning of the endometriosis implants puts surrounding organs at a higher chance of being injured from what we call thermal spread. And that is the concept that the energy that's applied during the ablation process doesn't stay in the exact same location. It actually slowly expands out and that may cause burning of surrounding organs like the ureter, which is the tube that connect the, connects the kidney with the bladder. 